Hey, what's up guys? Min City here back in with another video and today we are taking a look at Book of Beasts. Now, what is Book of Beasts? This is a card game available on the App Store. The link to the game will be in the description down below for iOS as well as Android if it's available for Android. Now, there's a ton of card games on this app, on the App Store. What sets this one apart from the others? Now, first of all, the art style and sound design are super good in my opinion. I really do like it. This is a fantasy themed game. Uh, mystical creatures uh, like that. And I do love the art style, the sound design, the music especially really hits home. I really like it. Um, very polished experience when it comes to how it looks and feels uh, with its music and sound design. Now, onto the gameplay. The most unique part of this game is the gameplay. Now, what you have, you have a, a, a deck of square cards. And with these square cards, they will have various gems that will be on certain sides of that square. Now, your goal is to link as many of these gems together each of your turns as you can. Now, what you do with that is you, once you place a card on the board, you have to link all other cards from that card uh, initially on the board. Now you'll be seeing it before me. I, I, I don't know before you in the gameplay. I don't know how to describe it perfectly well, but the more gems you match, the more points you get. And at the end of the turn, when you've matched all the cards that you can with all of the gems that you can, um, you end your turn, it tallies up the score and it puts it on a total score for your character. Once both you and your opponent, your opponent is placing cards on the same board as well. Once you and your opponent both deck out and play all of your cards, that's when your numbers are tallied up and there is a clear winner. So you want to match as many gems as possible each and every turn while also disrupting your opponents by placing maybe a gem that you know he can't match or uh, just like interfering with his chain of cards. So hopefully that makes some sense, at least helps you guys narrow it down a little bit. Now, the monetization to this game is you earn gold from playing matches even against the AI. So there's multiple game modes. Um, you earn gold even playing against AI characters and you use that gold to unlock ca more cards to build the deck. So the game gives you a starter deck up front if you don't have enough, um, to enough cards to make a total deck. Um, but that's about it. You can buy gold up front. There's also an option in the store, which I actually tweeted at the developers to ask about, um, it says you could buy all the season one cards. So maybe you can buy all the cards in a set up front, which I would totally support. Um, and that would take away a huge problem with trading card games is that you could have the full set instead of having to rely on RNG to pull the cards that you need. So I think that's really cool, but it's not working. I don't know what's going on with that. So basically the only in-app purchases you can make are to buy cards, more cards. And you can earn gold up front as a, at a steady rate to buy your own cards too. So it's very generous. I think it's really cool. It's an indie effort. Um, I think there's two developers on this game. I'm not sure, um, but it's definitely unique. And it's a really like, it has a very puzzle gamey feel mixed with um, just a casual card game. And it's a really nice change of pace. So I highly suggest that you guys check it out if that sounds good to you. Please leave a like and pop a sub if you guys are new or you enjoy mobile gaming content because that's all I make on this YouTube channel and take it easy.